Hi, my name is Trevor Sunderlich, and I'm the Lifestyle Director at Trilogy Lake Norman in Denver, North Carolina. During the month of October, we are celebrating all things hops and harvest as the weather cools down. Whether it's refreshing craft beer or a bonfire with some s'mores, there is sure to be an event at your community that will get you in the fall spirit. So be sure to check out MTL for more details. And now on to you, Sarah and Kelsey. Hey, thanks, Trevor. Hi, members. You've got Sarah and Kelsey. And we're back again to talk to you about the great month of October. So what's our theme this month? Well, it is hops and harvest. So we are getting ready for the fall season. You can expect to see tons of fun fall themed stuff going on this month. But before we get into that, Sarah, isn't there something you want to thank our members for? As a matter of fact, there is. I wanted to thank everybody across our trilogy communities that donated gently used sneakers to Sneaker Impact. We collected almost a thousand pairs of sneakers Woo. and that is really, really great for the first year out. So members, thanks so much. So what do we have first up in October, Sarah? Well, members, I hope you're going to join me on Saturday, October the 7th, where I have an opportunity to continue our series on resilience with Dr. Roger Landry. It's our keynote speaker series and we're super, super looking forward to it. But if you can't make it, don't worry. We always post those recordings on MTL following the event. Mm -hmm. What about after that, Kels? Well, on October the 10th, it is World Mental Health Day. So our teams are coming up with a variety of ways for you to celebrate your mental health. It could be something like a sound bath, a meditation class, or something like that. And I know it is gonna be a great time for you to focus on yourself. Absolutely. And then we're going to move right over to Craft Beer Week. We are ready to celebrate. So we have two beers here that we're super excited about. Craft Beer Week is gonna be such a fun time celebrating local beers, which we have here from Four Peaks right in Arizona. But of course, your teams will be celebrating with their own local craft beers and all sorts of other brews. But what else can they expect to see? Well, you know, we have to have some education in there somewhere. Of course. So maybe it is a beer pairing dinner, or mm -hmm. maybe we are just going on some kind of a brewery tour. And you never know, there may be a mixology demo, or we may even challenge our chefs to do something with beer as well. Well, whatever it is, I can't wait for October 16th through the 22nd. And as we wrap up the month of October, one of my personal favorite holidays is Halloween. And it's not just because we spent $3.1 billion as a society on candy, <laughs> but honestly, it's because I love to carve pumpkins. I love everything pumpkin, pumpkin pie, pumpkin bread. Oh my gosh, I love it, love it, love it. Check MTL for the details and see what your lifestyle director is planning for you and your community on Halloween. And then before we wrap it up today, we want to mention a quick special segment that you're going to see here in a moment that happened on 9-11 in Trilogy Valor. My name is Marie Jacquet. I live here in Trilogy Valor in Cuna, Idaho. It's a beautiful area in the Treasure Valley located about 20 miles southwest of Boise. I chose Trilogy Valor because of the development plans that I saw, because of the amenities that were planned for this area. And then as I moved in and got to know all of my neighbors, you find out that there's these military connections and this comfort and friendship and support. And it was beautiful to just fall upon that and stumble upon that in such a natural way. I was honored by the tribute to fallen soldiers and they were on a 21 day motorcycle tour through six states. They happened to choose my house and my son to honor. And when I woke up in the morning, and peeked out my window because I heard voices. Here were some of my neighbors putting American flags in my front lawn and hanging banners on my garage door and decorating in a very patriotic and supportive way. And then later that day when the motorcycle troop arrived, my neighbors were sitting in lawn chairs lining the way and cheering them on and then at the very end, the heartwarming part was when every single one of them came and stood behind with a hand on the shoulder of the person in front of them. And we all in unity showed support and love. 
or anyone that was involved in our military or our first responders on that 9-11 day and thereafter. And as a Gold Star mom myself, I was completely enveloped and surrounded by the love and warmth and support of everyone in this community. The name Valor just evokes that feeling of pride and so many of my neighbors, my community members, want to hear about my son and his sacrifice. I am very honored to share that, to keep his memory alive. And it's not just that he died, but he lived, and I serve as his historian and his archivist. It's not just about the tragedy that occurred, but the, the joy and the comfort and the learning that comes afterwards. One of the beautiful things for me to see was neighbors who had never even met yet were coming together, that we were all supporting each other, not just me, but each other throughout life's experiences and also sharing with each other, I could learn this from you or could you show me how do you get through this and we're helping each other and everyone here is just loving to hear the stories and we share stories with each other about service members in our family. Again, a beautiful thing in Trilogy Valor. Hey, Kels, that was a great film from Marie and Trilogy Valor. I can't wait to read the full story in the upcoming edition of the MTL Magazine, coming out early in 2024. It's going to be a great edition, as always. Yep. But you know, let's close this segment out. What do you say? I say we cheers to the month of October. Enjoy Craft Beer Week and all things hops and harvest. See you cheers. next month.